buildings at a single bound. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Yes, it's Superman! Governor, <laughs> there you go again. Well, I'm not a crook. I've burned everything I've got. Why? Because we like you. Welcome to the Howdy Boomy Show. Here it is Friday at the end of the week. Uh, at the end of this show, we'll, we'll give you our shift head of the week. But it was nice to know that the Secret Service concluded their investigation of the cocaine they found in the White House and determined that they have no clue. Now, this is an area, the White House constantly, there's cameras on 24-7, 365 days a year. So they look at everything. And it's maybe unfair, but not, but you know there is a known White House participant, no White House occupant, who is a cocaine addict. And it's sort of uh, amazing that you're being criticized for thinking that, but every, you know, one in one is two. What are the odds that he is the person that left the cocaine there? I have no idea. But the fact of the matter that the Secret Service has no clue what's going on is scary. Because they said they found marijuana before in the White House. And that's scary. It makes you wonder what type of people our President Joseph Biden is surrounding himself with are employed by this president. Um, I just can't understand his attitude towards drugs or not the alarm that he would sound. But then again, you have to remember, on the southern border, there are probably going to be thousands of people dying this year in the United States from the fentanyl that's coming through our leaky southern border. But Joe says it's okay. Mallorcas, our chief down there, he says it's okay. Don't worry about it. Terrorists are coming through. A lot is going to happen over the next decade because of the catastrophe that Joe Biden has caused. And the problem is, I don't think deep in his heart, he has any clue what's going on down there. I don't know who's running this country. I can guarantee you this. If you're a Democrat, and I am, no matter who you voted for, the person running this country, the people running this country, were not on that ballot. There's no way Joe Biden is running this country. He is clueless. Things are probably run by him. He nods his head, whatever. He does not have the attention span. He does not have the mental whereabouts to consistently on an hour-by-hour -hour basis take on the responsibilities that the President of the United States has to have during the day to run this country to keep our country safe, to keep the world safe. It's, it's you, see, you see it every day when he goes out and speaks, and I'm sure behind closed doors after he gets done swearing at everybody, it's the same thing. No matter who is running this country, they are not represented, they were not represented this past presidential election on the ballot. You know Kamala Harris isn't running anything. God help us if it comes to the point where she has to, because then you're really going to be shaking your head on what's happened to the American political system. We have a shift head of the week, and it's amazing. There was a guy who was eluding police, so he decided to go in the house and jump in the freezer. Now, that, that, I think that would do it. The only problem was that they found his body frozen days later. So he's not the mental giant that uh, he eluded police, but guess what happened? They found him anyway. I don't know if they thought him out or just planted him, but nice thinking. Our shift head of the week <clears throat> has to be John Kerry. Now, I know when John Kerry was running for President of the United States, you shook your head. Now, here was a guy that went to Vietnam. Now, you have to remember, uh, the idol in Massachusetts and in New England was John F. Kennedy. And John F. Kennedy was a World War II hero, PT-109. So I am sure John Kerry felt, 
in order to make it to the White House to be a president, to be a viable candidate. When he was a younger individual, I'm going to do what John F. Kennedy did. I'm going to go to war. Now, I'm sure he got a cushy job. But he was decorated. For what, I have no idea. But he was decorated. And later in life, in order to protest something in the White House, the war, the Vietnam War, whatever he was running for, he decided to throw his medals that he received in the military over the White House fence on the White House lawn in protest of what the government was doing. And I'm sure there was a Republican in the White House at the time. And it was later found out that the medals that John Kerry threw over the White House fence weren't even his. So he is a phony from the day one. And now he is our climate czar. Now think about this. You've got someone in the United States of America in a position of power that you didn't vote for that's making decisions that are going to cost our country trillions of dollars, has no, no, no responsibility to Congress. And he's making deals around the world, worrying about climate. He goes to the Ukraine. People are dying every day of bombs. Climate change is going to kill more. Really? He's worried about carbon footprints. He has a private jet that puts out more carbon footprints on every trip he takes than you will in a lifetime. He owns homes, five homes that are larger than mansions. What's the carbon footprint on that? It's amazing how hypocritical this man is. Do you think he owns a Tesla? I doubt it. I know for a fact that when you take a look at people that have Secret Service protection, that the Secret Service really doesn't like, <clears throat> high on the list is John Kerry's wife, Heinz. You know, she married a, 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 a billionaire who died. John Kerry jumped in, saw an opportunity. Now he's one of the richest men on the planet because he married well. She treats Secret Service like dirt. And they'll always remember that. You know, these people are supposed to take a bullet for you. So I, I think that John Kerry, from the hypocritical point of view, as he always was, and just, just looking at him, you realize he, he looks like Secretariat's older brother. But it's, it's a shame that someone like this is spending your money out of your pocket, trillions of dollars, without any recourse, on idiocy. Idiocy. Man has no clue what's going on in real life. It was called before Congress yesterday, couldn't answer questions. No, no idea what's going on, and this gentleman is spending trillions of U.S. dollars on a fantasy, not reality. Has no clue what's going on. So our shift head of the week, who could probably be nominated daily and walk away with it, someone other named, other than named Adam Schiff, as John Kerry, our shift head of the week, just go away, John, and take a cab. Better yet, take a Tesla. See how you like it. I hope you have a great weekend, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great country. Remember, we have to take it back. One way to do it, vote. The only way to do it. Don't protest. Don't make yourself an ass out of yourself. Vote. People who love this country, respect the Constitution, respect our forefathers, believe that this is the greatest country in the world. Go to the polls and vote American for people who like this country, who don't blame it for everything. God bless you. Have a great weekend. God bless America.